Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today, I am on Westfield, platoon up with hoops, team destruction, no bases, he's in his Chrysler, I'm in my Vengeance, which I have yet to ace, chasing my ace in the Vengeance. Hoops has aced his Chrysler many a times, um, and we joke that because he plays his Chrysler so well that he always gets tier 10 matches in it. And of course, it is a tier 10 match. Now Westfield, you want to win the Westfield, uh, so we're pushing up. A lot of people don't like to do this because if you get spotted, then you're going to get destroyed by Artie. We are the only two tier 8s in this game, and what better chance to ace your tank than to be in a 2 minus, 2 plus matchmaking. So, now I say that, and if you are aggressive when you're two tiers down, you can pay for it. You could be very quickly taken out of the game. Um, however, if it works and you make it, you manage it and it works, you are in line for some huge XP. And that's really, <clears throat> excuse me, how I've aced a lot of my tanks. All right. So we have a little bit of heavy tanks making a rotation through the through the little village in D4, um, which I think is a little too early, just because their guns could just turn towards them. This T30 gets caught out, we shut him down, and now this T54 is trying to make his pay, but he has no gun depression, so he's gotta come all the way up over top to get shots. And I'm gonna try to use the T30 as cover to get shots into the side of these guys. Now you'll notice they realize that they have our three heavies are rotating behind them. Hoops takes down their Patton and then I get shots into the back their 54. Second shot goes into his drive wheel, locks him down and they have just committed four or five tanks to go deal with the three heavy tanks. And since all those guys are busy with our heavy tanks that are over on the right side, this T-54 is left out in the open. Get a shot into that U-100 side. So maybe I thought that flank was too early to push, um, but the way the Reds responded actually helped us out. Now this 46 Patton is trying to get away. I'm trying to lock him down in, in the field. And I think he just decides that being out in this field is not a great idea, and he's not going to make it back. So he might as well just try to get into cover. Get another shot into him. He's on 98 hit points. See if we can shut him down before he gets behind the house. And we're not able to. So I figure he's going to shoot across this little gap, so I'm getting ready. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. I don't really want to take a shot from him, so I wait till I'm loaded to pull back up. And right as I try to snap a shot in, which by no means would that like land and pen, um, just because my reticle is almost full, um, but the Jag Tiger backs up in front of me. And he sneaks through my gap. So not only does he get away from me when I had the opportunity, but then I get pooped on by artillery. One of only two tier 8s in the game, Artie, and you're focused on me. I just... Is this why Artie's lose games? Come over, pop this T-54. It's 7-7, seven to seven, so I let Hoops know. I'm like, hey buddy, we, it might come down to us. Don't throw your tank. I'm going to try to help protect our E-100 in the city. Um, I'm like, you just hold and hopefully we'll get to rotate around them. E100's taken heavy fire, shut that Patton down, and now I have an E100 with me, and he should be somewhat priority, however, they only need to shoot me once for me to die, so I have to be very careful here. I'm gonna get behind the E75, get on his side, I mean. Oh, no, no, E100's gonna block the E75. Okay, so now this is a tricky situation. I was trying to open up a crossfire, and wherever the E100 on my team was, I would be on the other side of the Reds. Alright, so here we go. 
You're shot into the E-75, and I get shut down. And this is me angrily pinging the map, because I felt like I had to work so hard in my tier 8. And then Hoops just tells me to calm down, we got this in the bag. And I'm like, dude, I was having a monster game, like, and there's still more damage left on the table. I just wanted to ace my vengeance for the first time. I'm like, my that E100 was frustrating me by not really allowing me to play the flank of the E75 and the E100. You just kept trying to be by my side, which is frustrating. Alright, so... Oops is going to go try to lock horns with the E75. The E75 has too much speed, rams him and kills him. So now it's down to four versus two, and we have artillery, which just hit the E75. Let's jump into this bad chat, see if he can finish it up. And I believe the two mediums that I pinged in A5 were the ones that cleaned up the K0 line, and then they were just making their way to... Um, the the hill I'm guessing they probably had some shots over in F0 because you definitely can get shots there so they did the right thing I was just a little frustrated because I'm the tier 8 feeling like I'm brawling with big dogs and it, guess who's on top hoops throws out a beautiful 3500 damage game I get 3000 ace my vengeance for the first time Hoops also drops another ace in his Chrysler, so we got a double ace game. Um, and being the only two eights in the match, I would say that is pretty darn good. Our artillery did 3,500 damage. So between Hoops, me, and artillery, we were the only ones that got over 3,000 damage. Which is kind of funny. So maybe their already was right trying to shoot at me. Um, I believe when he wasn't shooting at me, he was shooting at Hoops. I just remember Hoops uh, complaining that Artie was shooting at him. Um, so that allowed me to be a little bit more aggressive until I got shot by Artie. But I hope you enjoyed. I quit babbling. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.